Genius Nation, what's going on? It's your man, Dr. Will, and you guys know the deal. Let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. Even if you're watching this on the replay, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscription button, hit the notification button, all the things that make the algorithm go pop. Welcome to Daily Insights with Dr. Will. I am Dr. Will. Happy Tuesday to you wherever you are in the world. Go ahead and let me know what city, what state, what country you are in. I'm here in the beautiful city of Phoenix, Arizona, where God vacations. So let's get into daily insights. So today I want to talk to you about this idea or this insight about not making it harder than what it is. Stop making it harder than what it is. Dr. Will, what are you talking about? I work with clients all around the world. And one of the things that I always recognize is that when we begin to talk about what we want to create and what they want to build and what they want their results to be internally, they start creating all of these obstacles. They start creating all of these obstacles. Why it can't happen? Well, this may happen. And I always have to say, wait, let's stop, stop, stop. You're making this too hard. You're making this too hard. And what's the danger? Here's the danger of making something appear too hard that's really not hard. There are some things in life that you're going to face. There are some things in life that you're going to be up against that are really hard. But if you start to train yourself to make things that are not hard seem hard, then the hard things are going to seem impossible. Does that make sense? Let me, let me share once again. If you take the, the things that really aren't that difficult and really aren't that hard, but you make them seem like they're hard, when it comes up against those hard things, then those hard things are really going to seem impossible and it's going to stop and impede your progress. So you want to, when I'm, when I'm working with my clients, I have to frame for them and I have to bring them back to reality to let them know, Hey, listen, what we're getting ready to do, that's not hard. Like for instance, when I deal with my speakers, consultants and authors, and I tell them, Hey, I need you to reach out to between 10 and 25 people a day, 10 to 25 people a day need to know about your services. You need to reach out to them, 10 to 25 people. And they say, oh my God, 10 to 25 people. You, you want me to reach out to 10 to 25 people? That's not hard. I, I didn't ask you, I didn't ask you to build a house with a toothpick. See, that would, that would be hard. If I asked you to build a house with a toothpick, that would be hard. But sending out an email, sending out a text, corresponding with someone, 10 to 25 people, that's, that's not hard work. If you have to, the night before, figure out who you're going to reach out to, who those 10 people are, who those 25 people are, that's not hard work. For the majority of you, you're going to be sitting in your house, in your warm house. You just had a great dinner. If you're doing it in the morning, you just had a great breakfast. So what I'm asking you to do it's not hard. Now, when we get to the hard work, then you're going to think the hard work is impossible. So we got to start really reeling ourselves in and stopping and really, you know, giving yourself a reality slap to say, listen, this, this is not hard work. This is not, this is not hard work. It may be long work. It may be tedious work, but it's not hard. It's, it's not hard. Most of us that you probably dial into me, you know, you're probably an entrepreneur, business owner, or even a career professional. Even if you're a career professional, you've been doing your job for some time now. It's not hard. You figured it out. You, you've dialed in. You know what needs to be done. You got those reports on Friday that need to be done. You know, you can wing it on Monday. You chill on Tuesday. Wednesday is hump day. Thursday, you start. You start looking at it and then Friday morning you come in guns blazing. Let me get this report done. But it's not hard. It's not hard. But if you keep telling yourself, 
If you keep telling yourself, oh, this is hard work. This is hard. Oh, my God, I'm working so hard. And you're really not working hard. Then when it comes to the hard stuff, the hard stuff will seem impossible. So you got to recalibrate your mind and you got to do a proper a proper assessment of the work that you're doing. Like I have a full schedule, but I don't have a hard schedule. I have a full schedule, but I don't have a hard schedule. There's some things about my business that I have to do that um, I don't really per se like doing. I don't like focusing on, but it's not hard. So I've trained myself to make sure that I don't, I don't use that terminology. Man, I worked hard today when I really didn't work hard. I may have had a full day, but the work that I'm doing is not laborious work. It's not tedious work. If I'm uh, working on a book or if I'm working on a manual or if I'm coaching with clients, it's, it's not, it's not hard work. I'll be honest with you. Um, a lot of the things that I do now are not, are not hard. It's no, no heavy lifting right now, right? It's no hard. So I don't lie to myself. I don't lie to myself and say, Hey, this is, this is, this is hard work. You know, um, we reach out to companies all around the world to partner with them. I get flown all around the world. I get put up in the best hotels. I get car service. I get paid very well to do what I do. It's not hard. It's not hard. And so, uh, do I have a full schedule? Yeah. Do I have a, a lengthy schedule? Yeah. But I don't lie to myself and make it seem as hard. You know, people who lay bricks and people, um, who work in factories um, and, and have those types of jobs that are labor intensive. Those are, those are hard. Those are hard jobs. You're doing brain surgery. That's, that's a hard job. But for the most, for the most part, the majority of us, the majority of us, it's not hard. I remember um, talking, talking to my son about school and just breaking it down. And maybe that's what you need to do. Break down the responsibilities that you have and some of the things that you do. But I was talking to him and I was like, OK, well, let's look at your classes. OK, gym. You got gym. That's that's not a hard class. You got uh, photography. Uh, that's that's not a hard class. So we're not even counting those as classes. You just show up, do what you're supposed to do. You're going to get an A. So that's not even a hard class. What's your favorite class? Oh, your favorite class is social studies. So that's not a hard class for you. So right there, when you're thinking that you have this big workload, but if you really break it down and really look at it, and I said, okay, math and science, those probably going to be the classes you really got to put some effort into. So we went down from having seven classes to really... <laughs> two classes that you really need to focus on. Everything else is pretty much a gimme. But when you're telling yourself, oh my God, I got seven classes. I got all this work to, it's not, it's not. You're just telling yourself that, but that's not the true story. Really, you need to focus on two classes. You need to focus on math. You need to focus on science. All the other classes, it's not hard work. So stop telling yourself this story about, oh, it's going to be this. Oh, it's going to be this. Oh, it's going to be this laborious thing when it's really not, really not. A lot of you could decrease your stress level if you stop lying to yourself. A lot of you could decrease your stress level if you stop lying to yourself about all the obstacles and, 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 and all the roadblocks you really have when, in fact, you really don't. You've created them in your mind. And so today, the insight, I want you guys to think about this, really examine your life, look at your life, stop calling those things that um, are really not that hard, hard, because once again, you set yourself up for failure because there are going to come some times when you have to do some heavy lifting. But if you're calling, you know, if I'm if I'm lifting this pen and I'm saying, whoo, this pen, oh, my God, it weighs so much. Oh, my God, it's. No, this is nothing. This is this. This is nothing. This, this is nothing. But if I make this like it's a 50 pound weight, then when I actually get to the 50 pound weight, the 50 pound weight is going to seem like 10,000 pounds. So stop lying to yourself. Stop calling those things hard. That's really not hard. And what does my hat say? Just go do the work, guys. All right. Go out there and have an amazing Tuesday today. Go out there and be your amazing self. Go out there and dominate on this Tuesday, and I'll see you right back here in the nation tomorrow morning.